Hi, creator, welcome to the Ish Guy YouTube channel, the channel that brings you the creativity of the world graphic. If you are new here, kindly click on the subscription button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be the first person to always get updates from this channel. Thank. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to design this. Good day guys, welcome to the each guy YouTube channel video. Welcome back to the channel, the channel that brings you productivity. Hope you guys are doing great. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to design a simple petty flyer. So time is much better, let's get on to the business of today. So the first I have to do right now is to delete some first. Yeah, I click on my plug button there yeah, from gallery. Then yeah, I'm going to download. And here comes the image I use for the background. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to creative size, increase it. So after increasing it, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on the layer and I'm going to lock it. So after locking, the next thing is to click on the plug button, then click on gallery. So I'll go to where another thing is. So let's assume I want to um and some background here. So I'm looking for it. So let's assume I want to use this also background here. Yeah. So what am I going to do? I'm going to crop. I'm not going to crop this one like this. So after cropping it, I'm going to let this size again, then increase it. So I think this is the image I want to use, good. I just do something like this. Fine, fine, fine. So after that, you can drag it. Drag this something like this. Then drag it down a little bit. Good. So you just lock it. So after locking it, the next thing you are going to do right now, you should click on your plus button again. Okay? Click on paste. Then I'm going to write. Throw. Throw. So after that, go to your to your uh, font. We are going to change the font to what they call it Montestra Black. Good. So after that, the next thing you're going to do is to increase it. Good. So after you increase it, the next thing for you to do is to rotate it. Good. So. After you rotate to the next segment, you just move it to the back, then press it, then move it to the back. So, can you see we are actually moving forward? So, after that, the next segment, you want to do is to duplicate it, then you write throw back. So, we want to write back now. Back. Change to capsule letter. Good. Then you increase this one a little bit. Then you put it up here. Good. Then moving forward. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to copy this one, copy this back. Good. So now you have to click on this back. The second, the first one there. This is the one. This is the one up here now. So the second one, you're going to move it back to the back of this. You can see it as 
go to the back. So for that next thing you're going to do right now is to lock this off first. So after you lock it, just click on the back again. Then you go to your max to max mask. So you click on your max. Font again. Okay. Now we are using our um, Mutestra selling font. So now, sorry, we use Mutestra font. So we're going to use Mutestra selling pool right now. So after that, we come here, they place it here. Then you go to your color. So you just create your gradient color for it from the um, what they call it. From the background, so you create your gradient color from for the background. So I want to do something a little bit to play this one very well. We've got to fight to find a way. Dead of all the fun I would Good. So you can see we are starting moving forward. So I thought that the next thing I got to do is to copy this to JN Money. Copy it, then you write and cool. Then give something like this. You change the copy letter. Then change it to white color. Then you come here, then you place it here. So, can you see it now? So, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on your shape, click on your shape, click on your shape. So, now you click on gradient color, 
so I click on them color click on plus button so after you click on plus button that you leave it as the upside here so you can actually change it because you actually change it by, by clicking here so this way I change it but I don't want to use this one so what am I going to use now I'm going to use something something upside so now you click on this first one sorry good so now you click on the first one so after that you click on it then you click on this right side now so let's go so you click on it now so you change this one to this side bring it down to here so can you see what i'm i can you see what um um where the key um the point is so you change it to zero zero that is easy, easy, easy. click ok so you can see it then you click on the um the second one click here again then you change to pure black good so now you can now move it up a little bit good so for that just have to increase it Press it then you bring it down a little bit so good good so i just want you to cover the the guy like so next i'm going to do is to open it so after okay it you just click on here and lock it so that you can try the menu so after that the next thing we are going to do right now is to click on this block button again i'm going to my gallery okay yeah good so i'm going to click on this first i'm going to reduce it i'm going to place it here good i'm going to put it here after that i'm going to gallery again click on alarm day i'm going to reduce it i'm going to place it in here too the last person is Mr. Potable. So I'm going to use him here. So can you see it? We are moving forward. Good. So after that, you can just touch everybody. There's nothing we can do with them again. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on your plus button. Yeah, plus button. You click on shape again. Okay? You include the shape, something like
to play this very well. Then you can what they call it to give it radius something like seven is okay. Cool, so let's check. So can you see it's radius of seven is okay? So now what I'm going to do, so now just click on your layer, then you copy one of this 2022, that is 2022, then you write, then you write open, open, at, at 9pm, change it to, to this, then you can use it, then you place it here. So, so, so can you zoom it back and see what we just did right now so can you see it good so for the next thing we're going to do this one now next i'm going to do so copy all this open again copy it then you write the location of the event so click it so i'm going to write the location so let me write at a cool hotel so let's assume this is the location they are using for it so I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to zoom it back. I'm going to place it here. Good. So you have to increase it a little bit. Then you go to your relative position, move it to the middle. Good. So you can put it on the middle way. So now the next thing now is to go to your uh, spacing. So you just give it a little big spacing. So good. So can you see it? Good. So go back to your relative size. Then you move, sorry, your lazy position, move it to the middle. Good. So, can you see that we are actually moving forward? So, the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on my plus button. So, I'm going to my canvas again to bring out this actually. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to put it here. But I'm going to reduce the opacity in two bits. Good. So, that I have uh, duplicated it, then I move it down here. So, so, good. so this is how I got this um this um this video. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the channel and don't forget to share for us to see. So you can save your work as image and as a project. So if you are saving it, save it as PNG as PNG and save it as save it as ultra. So that is how I got this. So you can you can save now. Thank you for watching.